up and today I ha have like a processor for you and stuff this is like not a minecraft if you have viewed any of my other videos and stuff you might think I'm like some sort of like minecraft like person no I'm not I'm a processor person I'm a logic person I'm not particularly a minecraft person anyway so as for this okay number one the tool this um, tool I'm using to create all of the simulation and stuff is called logically and you can view like the website on Chrome it's called logic.ly I mean I can go there if you want but that would waste time I only have 10 minutes since my recorder anyway so the tool is called logically um, basically it allows you to simulate um, circuits using uh, all of the logic gates if you are watching this video then you should know what logic gates are okay I'm not going to explain that maybe in another video or something I'm gonna use this tool to explain the basics of circuits and stuff but uh, no no I'm not gonna do <laughs> too little time or yeah I guess I said that right I don't know I'm uh, not grammar anyway so yeah the tool is called logically it's a really good tool you get a 30 day free trial Although, don't do the web browser version, because if you do do that, then um, it will delete all of your progress if you close your tab. And my sister closed mine because she was pissy at me, and I lost a lot of stuff. So, yeah, don't. Don't rely on that. Or you could just lose your internet connection. <laughs> uh, we had a storm yesterday, like a little tornado that ripped up the house and stuff and also caused a power outage and I yeah enough about me so anyway so about this thing sitting in front of you here yes this is what you came to this video for so this is a processor and more than that it is a 4 bit processor so this is the ALU the arithmetic logic unit Basically, it does the math for the computer. Sorry. Okay, point, just point. Um, anyway, so this does the math for the computer and stuff. These four things that are circling the LU in a sort of pattern are registers. They are responsible for storing data temporarily so basically this is register one register two register one and registers one and two are um, uh, user controlled registers so like if you see right number to register right these are the two registers which you have right power over you do have right power over the instruction accumulator but indirectly I mean, you could only have write power of this if you do if you do an ALU command. So that's going to write the instruction to the instruction accumulator, which is then when you push this button, going to send it into send the instruction into the ALU, and then the ALU is going to process it, and then it's going to output it into the result accumulator, which basically stores the output from the ALU. You see, O one, O two, O three, O four. There is no carry import yet, so this is the read port for that register. It's not connected to the carry. I mean, if you if I move this, then you see that. So, now I have to do this again. See, but yeah, that's not connected, so don't think it is. I don't have a purpose for this carry thing yet. I just created it. Uh, me thinking it might do something. So yeah, anyway, this is the result accumulator. You do not write the result accumulator either. It's a special register. You can only read from it and load the data from the result into one of these two registers and stuff. Um, so these are a bunch of decoders to decode the instructions. Here, let me just see how much time I have. Oh, actually, I'm not even halfway through. Um, so these are decoders just to decode the instructions or the binary values from these um, input switches. 
um, and like load the instructions and st or not the instructions but just like the values instructions whatever I mean it's just basically an option selector so if I put a binary 5 here then it's going to output a 5 that that says 5 there and it's outputting the pin 5 so yeah um, and all the other like stuff that you see around here is just miscellaneous logic to um, control the instructions to control like other stuff like the write commands the read commands yeah so if I want to write a value to the register I can write two things so if I do command 5 which is a binary 5 because this is the 4's place and this is the 1 place of so 1 plus 4 is 5 um, so if I do that then I would write a number to the register so basically so basically let's say I want to move it to register 1 this is obviously register 1 and I put something in here then that's going to move a 1 to register 1 this is going to be a 3 this is going to be a 2 0 whatever and if I push this button then the contents of register 1 are now 0 let's do a bit more exciting let's put it as 1 so now I'm going to load it again push this a few times and then it should have a 1 in there and it already does so now instruction 0 is to read register 1 so if I execute that then you'll see it has an output of 1 so yeah that's how to move that register and like re uh, values into registers you can also move values from other registers into other registers like the result accumulator so if I wanted to move the value from register 1 to register 2 then I could do that I would execute that and then instruction 7 is to read from register 2 it looks it's odd but you would just have to understand the way or in order I did this that's a 3 why is that Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Alright. Okay, so there's move. Oh, I must have specified it backwards. So if I check register 1 now, then that's also going to be a 3. Yep, there we go. I got the registers backwards. Yes. So I've proven how this works. I know it is extremely confusing even though I would probably get this normally it's just on video um, it's a bit nerve-wracking and stuff so yeah so yeah there's a demo of it I'm probably gonna make another video about this yep I'm definitely gonna make another video about this um, where I'm gonna demonstrate the capabilities of the ALU and explain how the ALU works and maybe go into depth about like the registers so yeah I'm probably gonna part publish part one and part two together so look for that on my page um, um peace out guys so uh, forget the key combination